Welcome to our second lesson in Second Step. You know, last time we talked about our listening rules. And today we're going to work on focusing attention. But before we begin, we have puppy whoa whoa hi puppy you know kind of looks like you forgot the listening rules from our last lesson so let's take some time and let's remind puppy of our rules our first rule is our eyes are watching Our ears are listening. Our voices are quiet. And our body is still. Puppy, you think you can follow those rules? Okay. We're going to say goodbye to Puppy right now. And he's going to come back and join us later. So today we're going to practice listening and then thinking about what we've heard. We're going to listen to the th to the learner's song, which is about things that students do to learn. We call these things skills. So is it? So here we go. Focus, focus, listen, listen, use yourself for be assertive, focus, focus, listen, to listen, to use yourself for be assertive, to focus, focus, listen, to listen, to use yourself for be assertive, this is the way we all can learn. Let's talk about what we learned, what the, the skills for Monster uh, Math oh, presents oh, oh, oh. Oh, Edition here, Below 10. Okay, class, let's begin. What is 5 plus 3? There we go. All right. So, our, the skills for learning. Well, one of them is listening. We're work, we started work on that last week. Today we're going to start work on focusing attention. Focus. Then there's also 
using our self-talk. Those are the words that we tell our brain. And finally, being assertive. So, here is Caleb. He's focusing his attention on his teacher. So let's take a look at Caleb's face. What do we notice about his face? Well, we notice that his eyes are looking at his teacher and he's not fidgeting around with anything. He's focusing his attention on the teacher. And Caleb's teacher taught him a way to focus his attention. And I'm going to teach you that same skill. When you focus your attention on something, you're using your brain. You're using your brain to think about it. And then you're also using your eyes and your ears. Focusing attention is an important skill for learning. Let's talk about a telescope. What's the what does a telescope do? Well, a telescope is for looking at things that are far away. Like some scientists use them to look at different uh, planets and um, stars in space. It makes those far away things seem close to us, so close that we could actually see them. This is your attentoscope. And now we're going to take our attentoscope and we're going to put it down in our laps. But we're still going to keep our eyes looking straight ahead, just like we have our attentoscope on. An attentoscope is for paying attention to things. It helps you pay attention just to the things that are so imp that are important, so big uh, that uh, no, no. it helps to pay attention just to those things that are important, so they become big in your attention. It shuts out the other things that could take your attention away. So let's put on our attentoscopes again. And let's focus on the clock in your classroom. Now let's put your take your telescope down and put it back in your lap. And still keep your focus, focus your attention on the clock. Pretending that you have an attentoscope really helps you focus and to shut out things that could distract you. There's things that will get in the way of you being able to pay attention. So you switch your pretend attentoscope on with your words. When you say to yourself, focus attention, or look carefully, or listen, you're switching on your attentoscope. To help yourself learn, you have to switch on your attentoscope and pay attention. Now we're going to practice this with a, with a game. with puppy and snail. Well, we're gonna play a game of follow, follow. But here's the, here's the deal. You're only going to do what snail tells you to do. If puppy tells you to do something, we're not going to do that. Okay, so here we go. 
So let's put on your tentoscope. Say focus attention. Okay, now we got switched on. Here we go. Remember, we're focusing in on snail. Okay, now put your tentoscope down, but pretend it's still there. Follow, follow, touch your nose. Good job. Follow, follow, touch your head. Oh. Did you fall for it? Did you do what puppy told you to do? I'm glad that you didn't. Follow, follow, touch your head. Follow, follow, wiggle your ears. Follow, follow, put your hands on your hips. Oh, did you do that? Okay, good job of blocking puppy out. Good job of focusing your attention on snail. Okay. So today... We learn how to focus our, our attention by pretending we have an intentoscope. Because yeah, learners need to pay attention. Okay, you need to use your eyes, your ears, and your brain. Let's go ahead and let's touch them. Eyes, ears, brain. Those are the parts that you need to use to pay attention. So the more that you practice, the better you're going to get at focusing your attention. Okay. All right. So I'm glad we had our time together today. And I will see you next week.